friends, Roger Federer, the greatest of all time, the best tennis player that Open Era has produced, has announced his retirement from professional career. He has enthralled and captivated millions of fans throughout the world with his talent and on-court performances. While much can be spoken about his achievements in sports, today I will talk about five key business lessons that I have learned from his professional career. Lesson number one, consistency of output is the most important lever. Much of Roger Federer's success can be attributed to his consistency. Ever since he won his first Grand Slam, he has been extremely consistent in his performance. The level of his game has been at a consistent top level for a very, very long period of time. And that is what pushed him in the bracket of being a GOAT, the greatest of all time. So for any business to be successful in the long run, consistency of output is very, and attention must be paid to being consistent in your strategy, in your plans, in your execution, and in your output. Number two, fastest is not always the best. One of the key marketing theories that was propagated by Alvis and Jack Trout was positioning. And the principles of positioning suggested that a brand should be the first one to claim a certain position in the mind space of consumers. While that's an eternal truth, of course, but Roger's career also teaches us that being in a hurry to be the first one is also not a very good strategy. Roger took his time to prime. He won Junior Wimbledon in 1998, and then it took him five more years to win his first Grand Slam. But once he did that, there was no looking back. So in those five years, Roger struggled, he fine-tuned the weaknesses of his games, he oiled all his mechanics and basically prepared himself to conquer the world. Same is true for businesses. Businesses must not be in a hurry to be out in the market. Get your backend infrastructure right, get your plans right, get your execution right, and then get into the market. Pay attention to all the nuts and bolts that are required to run a successful machine and then get into the market. Lesson number three. Keep your liabilities in check. For businesses, debt and costs are core liabilities. It's very important to keep them in check. Look at Roger Federer's career. The liability of a sports person is his injuries. Roger Federer was so successful because for a good period of almost a decade, he remained injury free. This was quite unheard of in professional tennis era, where players often grapple with knee injury or other kind of injuries that they get while playing the games. But Roger remained extremely fit for a long period of time and that led to his success. So as business owners, keep your liabilities in check. Number four, patience and persistence is very important as much as in sports as it is in business. Sometimes you need to wait out for success to arrive. That's what happened in the career of Roger Federer. Not only he waited for five good years before he became a Grand Slam champion, but also look at his triumph at the French Open. This was a championship where he was clearly the second best after Rafael Nadal, but he persisted with it. And his persistence paid ultimately when he won that tournament after a long wait. Therefore, businesses must also be persistent and patient. At times, cracks open up in the armory of opponents and that's your time to make a killing. And lesson number five, have the right team. Roger surrounded himself with a fantastic team that was the backbone of his success. His right from his wife Milka, to his physio, to his trainer, to his coach. Everyone in his team gave their best to achieve one single goal. That was to see Roger succeed. In business also, the ones who succeed always have the right team. So investing in the right team with similar mindsets is extremely important. So friends, these were five quick business lessons that I drew out of Roger Federer's career. Do write in to me with your feedbacks in the comment below and also subscribe and reach out to me at Guru Prasoon at G-U-R-U-P-R-A-S-U-N on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and LinkedIn. Thank you.